Hey folks, it's Ken and the Data Monkey back here again for another episode of Monkey Shorts. And in this week's episode, we're actually going to try and help out Data Monkey over here because Data Monkey doesn't see too well. So uh, one of the things we want to do is give Data Monkey a little bit of a hand when he's writing DAX measures to make it a little easier to see what he's doing. So we're going to go over here to measure new measure inside Power Pivot. And I'm going to start just typing a measure right here. So I'm just going to go with my SU. And you'll notice that the text behind everything is actually pretty small. I mean, this is pretty small too, but regardless, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go and roll my, can hold control and roll the mouse wheel up. And you'll notice this is going to make the font size a little bit bigger. So when I go in and hit sum, it doesn't change the drop down list at all, but at least I can now start getting into a place where I can read the formula that I'm actually writing. I'm just going to go a sum of budget amount here. Now, the nice thing about this is that this works in every single power pivot window that we have for editing DAX. Okay, so if I cancel this, for example, and I go to manage measures and I come in and look at my sales measure here, I can hold down my control key, roll it up to see what's going on. And of course, these windows are resizable. Uh, one quick thing I do want you to know about, though, I have had occasions, especially in Excel, where when I've made the window bigger, rolled the text font size, I'm working across multiple lines, I start typing and everything starts turning into the pipe character, the straight up and down bar. That's really frustrating. The only thing to do is to actually get this window closed and reopen it. Like you got to get out, whether it's an OK or a cancel, and come back in and zoom it and reset that text size again. It's a little bit frustrating. The check formula button sometimes corrects it a little bit, uh, just so that you can at least get your formula committed, but just be aware there is a bit of wonkiness there. Okay, so you just have to watch out for that one. Hopefully that's a bug that we can get Microsoft to fix. Uh, finally, here's another one. There's a different DAX window here. This one doesn't have color, not my favorite, but again, you'll notice we can scroll in here just fine. The other cool thing that you should know is that this trick also works inside Power BI. So if I'm in Power BI and I'm looking at this pace versus PY measure and I click down here and I'm going, geez, what's that? I can't quite read all this. Again, the mouse wheel works to scroll up so I can make it nice and big so I can see what's going on. So basically, if you've got a DAX window somewhere, that control mouse wheel will scroll up and scroll back down when you're done as well in order to make it easier to read, zoom in, zoom out as needed. Thank you for watching this episode of Monkey Shorts. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to click on the Skillwave logo on the bottom left in order to subscribe to our channel. Or if you'd like to see more videos in the series, click on the playlist tile on the right. And if you'd like to get more comprehensive training, you should definitely check out our website at skillwave.training.